In this video we're going to look at Power BI and how we can download an app that will give us a visual overview of customer satisfaction. Now Microsoft have created this app for us and we can go ahead and install it but to get them the most out of it it's designed to be used with a survey that you've got linked to the default um, flow template that is for um, case resolution. So you could download it and, and review it and get an idea of, of the sort of things that you could do. But, it, but again, it's designed to be used with that specific flow so that you're able to capture case resolution uh, feedback. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look. So I'm in Power BI. And if we were to click on Get Data, it would take us to this page right here. We're going to do Services and click on Get. This is then going to take us to the App Source area, Apps for Power BI. If I go ahead and just type in Forms, we can see there that we've got the Microsoft Forms Pro Customer Satisfaction. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Get It Now. Now you have to have a Pro license to be able to get this installed. So if you get an error message or you get a message that tells you that, then you'll have to check with the system administrator to see if there are licenses um, for that and if you're able to use it. I have the right license so I can go ahead and install the Power BI app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. Now I can um, install it. I'm going to overwrite an existing version because I already have this installed. So I'm just showing you the process. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and install it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to install it with some sample data. And that will be the data that I'll use to actually show it. Um, but So it's going to put in the sample data so that you can review how it would look if you had the right sort of data. So we're going to have it installed. Um, we can see there Workspace is updated. Let's go there. And now we can see we've got the Microsoft Forms Pro Customer Satisfaction app here. And it tells us at the top, you're viewing this app with sample data. To view your own data, connect and wait for the refresh to complete. So if we want to go ahead and connect, we can click on that. And that's where we put in the URL for our own um, Dynamics 365 environment. And then we can go through, click next, and we can actually log in with a password. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and have a look. And again, it's telling us that we are viewing sample data. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. And let's close that. All right, so we can see there on the left-hand side, we have three different um, links on the navigation. We've got overview, we have agent performance, and then we have customer satisfaction. So let's go ahead and first of all, look at the overview. So what we're going to see is along the top, we have uh, how many survey invitations have actually been sent. And then we can see how many responses. So we've got 127 invitations and out of that, we've got 84 responses that have come through. We can then see the overall net promoter score, the NPS. So net promoter score is negative 100 to positive 100. So for this organization, we have 15.42. So it's in the positives, but still not that great. Um, and then the overall sentiment based on words that have been added into text boxes on the survey, the overall one is going to it is positive in this scenario. Then what we're seeing is we've got um, the net promoter score um, for the survey responses that have been submitted and we can see there the submit date and the NPS 42.86 overall. Um, so we can see that information as we hover our mouse. What we're also going to see is key phrases by sentiment. So at the minute we're looking at all sentiment. I can filter that and I can see just the positive sentiment. And then I can filter again and I can see the negative sentiment. And again, that's based on the words that are added into text boxes on the survey. That sentiment is going to be um, analyzed uh, immediately. So that's part of Forms Pro. Now what we've got is the ability to click through along the bottom here and we're looking at an overview. We're looking at um, overview based on case priority, uh, case origin, case type, and then also product. And obviously this is dependent on, uh, we've, we've got something that's been set up as a, as a template, but you might not use certain things. So it could be that you then need to make a copy of this and modify and, and make changes so that it fits with your organization. We've also then got agent performance. If we click on that, 
We can then see um, a list of all agents, so the, the support reps or the case owners, if you will. So we can see by agent, we can then filter, we can see information as we filter based on the uh, net promoter score for the survey responses that have come through, the overall net promoter score now that I'm looking at for Lydia. We can see the key phrases based on responses where Lydia was the case owner. Um, we can then go to customer satisfaction and we can then see it based on the account. So we can see the net promoter scores based on the account. And again, those key phrases, um, if we then filter through and we look at specific accounts, we can then see the key phrases based on the responses for people that work at Coho Winery. We have filters at the top here. We can filter by date of the responses and we can also ask a question. So if I click on ask question, what that's going to allow us to do is um, type in uh, questions, type in keywords to basically try and filter that information. So we can see here the questions to get started. We've got top responses by net promoter score. We have top key phrases by net promoter score um, and so on. So these are some of the questions, but then I could basically type in um, so we might say account by NPS by owner. So it's giving us some suggestions. So we could see there we're now able to then filter that data further. Okay. So hopefully you can kind of see um, a little bit in terms of how you can view information and then you could take this and, and kind of customize it a little bit further. You could make changes to it. Um, Again, if you're not using some of these uh, fields that are actually on a case record, maybe you're not do, doing case uh, location, case priority, case origin, and so on, then you could adjust this, change the filters, and so on. But it gives you a starting point. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you, this is something that you think you would download and actually use. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.